Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro video countdown series. In at number 38, it's an arcade classic, it's Killer Gorilla. This was released in 1983 by Micropower and it was developed by Adrian Stevens, who was aged only 17 at the time and was paid the princely sum of £400 for developing the game. A lot of people refer to this as a clone of Donkey Kong, but actually Adrian has said in interviews that he developed the game based purely on screenshots that he'd seen of Donkey Kong in a magazine. Uh, Donkey Kong, of course, was the 1981 arcade cabinet classic that was uh, released by Nintendo famously um, and has a huge uh, history. There have been movies made about Donkey Kong and the people that play it. Um, but this is a video all about Killer Gorilla, so we're going to take a look at it now. All right, let's fire it up. Here we are, Killer Gorilla, here's the instructions here. Now I'm gonna stop talking for a second so we can hear the theme tune. That's great stuff. And uh, you might be thinking, oh, I'm sure I remember there being more theme tune than that. Well, that's because I have to press spacebar to start to hear the rest. Dun, 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 dun. Great stuff. Okay, 25 meters, how high can you try? Well, hopefully we'll get past 25 meters, um, but I'm not making any promises. So here it is, here is the game in, in all its uh, amazing glory. Um, it is really, really, really special. Um, I mean, it's, the more I think about it, I mean, I didn't realize until I started making this video that Adrian had actually based this purely on screenshots. I did think that he might have had some um, access to the uh, the original game, maybe not the code, but at least have you know had some sort of uh, experience of the original original Nintendo game, but really to think that he did all of this um, just based on some screenshots I think is amazing stuff. Uh, so obviously the game dynamic is fairly straightforward, you just need to get to the top, um, but you, you also have the uh, facility to smash the barrels with this uh, with this excellent little mallet here. Well, it's actually quite a big mallet. Oh, <laughs> would, would help if I was facing the right way. I like the little halo above his head there. Um, yeah, so you can smash the barrels for extra points, um, or you can just basically try and make a beeline for the top as quickly as possible, which uh, is, is how you make more progress, I suppose. Um, obviously, when you're holding the mallet, uh, you can't actually uh, climb the ladders, so although it's useful to you as a means of smashing them, uh, it does mean that you're... Oh, look, help! <laughs> Like that, uh, it does mean that you can't uh, you can't progress all the while you're holding onto it. Um, so and also it's it's kind of not clear when the bar uh, when the mallet is about to disappear. So you sort of you think you're in 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 uh, in the sort of safety stakes as far as the barrels are concerned, and then suddenly your mallet will disappear. Oh, no, there you go. See, Ooh, I don't know how to jump onto the barrel. Okay, here we go. Yes, excellent stuff. And now the gorilla will come and oh, heartbreak. It's, it's, it's a tragic story. Okay, 50 meters. Let's see how much further we can get. Oh, and there's a handbag there for a little extra bonus. And I think that's a, ooh, that's a hat there. Now, these are conveyor belts. We can walk through this bit as well. Uh, these are conveyor belts, so you have to be slightly careful um, how you how you move with these, because they will try and push you in the opposite direction. Now, these are dodgy ladders as well. Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can get up. There we are. Oh, oh that's as far as I need. I thought I needed to get up onto the uh, to the perch there. Oh, there's a fireball coming my way. Oh, no, turn around. All right, 75 meters. Now, I think you get an extra life if you reach this far. Oh, oh dear. Well, <laughs> probably should have watched where I was going. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought 75 meters you got an extra life, uh, which may, may well be the case. But, oh, well, look at those funny jumping things here. Look at those. <laughs> See, perhaps sort of bouncing girders going on there. They also seem to be playing the theme tune, which is quite... Oh, oh dear. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. not quite sure why I why I lost a life. I mean, I thought I'd cleared that quite successfully. Oh, well, I'll add myself to the um, the Hall of Fame. This is rather special. The, uh, the, the names in here, are, they're, they're, not, they're not random. They're obviously based on some kind of lookup, but they do change each time you play the game. When I was playing uh, a few practice goes earlier, there was Repton in the, uh, the top 10. But this time I'm joined by Rocky IV, uh, obviously an 80s classic, that film. And Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols as well. And Adrian himself, of course, who he's modestly come in at, at number six. And someone called Ace at number one. Anyway, we're going to give that another go, I think, because uh, we managed to get to the 75 metre mark and then died under mysterious circumstances, I think it's fair to say. Uh, so I'm going to try and just get up to the top as quickly as possible and probably ignore the mallets uh, on this occasion. 
I have to say, as a, as a child of the 80s, the, uh, the word mallet is forever um, associated with Timmy. Um, for those of you who remember Timmy Mallet on uh, Wackaday. So I have to say mallets for me are very much synonymous with uh, Timmy Mallet. Um, anyway, 50 metres, here we go. Uh, do leave a comment if you are a fellow Wackaday fan. Do you remember that, uh, that rather zany <laughs> children's programme that used to appear on children's TV on a Saturday morning? Um, oh, oh dear. Fell off a ladder there. Too much Wackaday chat. Um, even more impressed if I heard from anybody that uh, made an appearance on Wackaday. That was always a childhood dream of mine. Can't say it ever, can't say it ever happened for me. But uh, I've certainly seen a few people on Twitter who've uh, made it onto, uh, or who made it onto Wackaday, who've shared their experiences of it. Right. Uh, those fireballs are posing a bit of a challenge here, and my bonus is is counting down. Um, oh dear, that wasn't very good, was it? It's a bit of a bit of a snag when you get two fireballs like that, and there's no mallet up there either for me to attack them with. All right, so we'll go for the handbag again. Maybe I just need to make as quickly. Oh no, you see those fires are—they're out already. Maybe I need to go over here and. Actually, I don't know what if I climb up here. Is that—is that safe? I feel like that's not good news. Oh, okay. Well, it worked. I mean, you would think that he was going to take on the gorilla at that point. Anyway. We've made it. No, I, hadn't, I didn't have any lives there. We've reached the 75 metre mark. No. <laughs> no bonus life, obviously. I misremembered that. Or maybe you have to clear the 75 metres um, before you get, uh, before, before you're eligible for the, uh, for the extra life. I do love those jumping uh, giant capital I's or whatever they might be. Now, see, I, this is no good, is it? I can't jump over there because of that fireball. Um, hmm. Oh, he's gone down now. Let's see if I can go back over. Um, yes, now I have to say this came a cropper last time on this one. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh dear. Oh, you're not having a lot of luck with uh, level 75 metres. Ah, going to have to go back to the beginning again. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, well, in the old Hall of Fame at number six. Dun, 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 dun. times I've heard that tune. Okay, all right, well we're back in business, level uh, 25 meters, so let's try and get through this one as quickly as possible. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire style? Let's just rush you through as they say. All right, okay, almost there. Oh dear, double barrels. Oh, not too bad, a little extra bonus. All right, up to the top. Yes, I don't know uh, about those watching me play this, but um, I've seen some fairly impressive uh, gameplay on, on YouTube and elsewhere of people um, probably playing Donkey Kong more so than Killer Gorilla, who are fiendishly good at the game. Oh dear. Fireballs and custard pies galore. Um, yes, you can you can blitz through the levels on it uh, much faster than I'm able to, I have to say. But um, yes, I, I don't make any pretenses to being a, a, an amazing player of, of well, really any of the games that I, that I re review on this channel. Uh, for me, it's very much just a, a case of games that I enjoy um, and have enjoyed over many years. Um, you might think that after all this time I might have improved at some of them, but um, by and large, I have to say no. <laughs> In fact, I think Imogen is probably the only game, uh, which if you, for those of you who have seen my, my Imogen videos uh, in another playlist, it's probably the only game I can lay claim to having successfully completed, uh, more than once, in fact. Um, actually, that's not entirely true. I think I did manage to complete Striker's Run once as well, and that was quite a, an ordeal. I'm um, not going to give the game away about where Strikers Run is going to turn up in the uh, countdown, but rest assured it will be in there. Uh, well, once again, I'm proving that uh, by chattering away like that, I'm uh, not making very much progress with the game. So let's see if we can uh, make a bit more, bit more progress this time round. Um, I would really quite like to make a little bit more headway on that 75 meters level with the with the bouncing girders because I, I feel that I've not I haven't worked out what the uh, what the issue is there. Fairly sure I have managed to get further than the, the little um, trolley or whatever they are. Not trolley, like sort of food delivery service or whatever those little uh, those little things that are going up on a pulley system. Um, yes, I, I, I have memories of, of getting past that. Oh, help! Up at the top of the screen there. Yes, I am doing my best. Well, 
I suppose not 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 as good as some, but uh, oh come on, don't get another fireball. Come on, there we go. Oh, the duplicitous ladder. I like how he hangs in space there. Just before, uh... Right, we've got two lives, and we're heading into 75 meters. So hopefully we can do a little bit better this time, or at least have more than one attempt. Um, try not to fall off the platform straight away. All right. Okay, so I'm on here. I'm on here. Ah, excellent. Okay, now I just need to avoid that fireball. So what I might do... Oh, no! <laughs> Plummeted to my death. Ah. Well, okay. Well, at least I've proved that it is possible to uh, not uh, not die at the first hurdle. Uh, so let's let's go on here. Oh, 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 oh careful. Oh, no, that fireball. Oh. That was somewhat frustrating. Still, I've got an extra life, so fingers crossed. Maybe we'll make a little bit more headway. Let's see how we get on. Oh, he's gone down the ladder now. That's good. And if he just stays down there, that would help. Not sure why I've... Oh! I was going to say, I'm not sure why I've given the fireball a personality. I mean, it is it's a fireball at the end of the day. Oh, well. Game over. Ugh. I don't know whether to, uh... Yes. I mean, I don't know. I was even thinking out loud, shall I continue? And I'd already pressed spacebar. That just shows you what the killer gorilla is all about, really. It's uh, it's just it's just too addictive to stop. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to give it another try. Um, maybe, just maybe, we might make it to the 100 metres mark. Um, I... Oh, oh! Lost my life on the first level. That's not a good start, is it? Okay, well, we'll... we'll, we'll, uh, we'll Hopefully, do a little bit better this time. Let's uh, let's just uh, see how far we can get. Um, uh, you're probably thinking, oh, he ignores that mallet every time, but I I'm just really keen to get to uh, the end of the first level as quickly as possible because I feel that uh, we've seen more than enough of level one at this stage. Oh dear, here comes another one. All right, there we go. Uh, okay. I've just noticed, by the way, that the gorilla is different on level one to how he appears on level two. So he's got he's sort of a profile crouching gorilla here but then he appears as as the uh, rather squat looking front ways on gorilla there that you see in the uh, how high can you climb interesting i'm quite sure why that is oh no oh i thought i thought the custard pie had got me there oh well, the ladder has left me in a slightly prone position come on there we go all right i only got one life left this time because i wasted one on the uh, first level but uh, Fear not. Let's see how we get on. I'd say that, that it's that fireball on 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 this bit that really is the problem because it. Yes, there we go. He's gone down now. So. Oh. It really is quite tricky. You have to sort of jump and then step back in sort of mid jump in order to land on that platform. It is quite quite the challenge. Right, and I'm going to have to hang around up here and hope that the fireball disappears because there's no point in me jumping over while he's roaming backwards and forwards. Oh, no, 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 that's no good. Come on, go down the... Maybe if I go down the ladder, that might give him some ideas. Come on. Oh, my bonus is really counting down here. Oh, he doesn't want any of it, does he? Not quite sure what algorithm is uh, dictating his movements, but... Uh, I suppose I could try coming in over at this... Oh, look, he's going down now. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll try... Oh, just... <laughs> okay, this is quite frustrating. So let's, 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 let's stay down here. And then when the next platform comes, we'll... There we go. Oh. Okay, you really have to not fall too far from the platform, it seems, in order to make it onto the other side. Okay. All right, well tell you what we'll give it one more go because it feels a shame to, to leave it there um, and I mean let's face it killer gorilla is just too good to, to stop playing at this stage so we'll, we'll, we'll persevere a little bit longer um, and just see if we can uh, make a bit more progress it would be nice if in this video I could make it to the to the fourth level at least because I believe after that uh, the game oh dear oh dear oh, oh. Well, that was a bit of a snag. I was going to say, the um, the game tends to repeat, I think, after the fourth level, but then the barrels and, and everything else become faster. So um, that's the that's the challenge of the game at that point. But I believe there are only the four uh, levels uh, in terms of different sort of looking 
um, levels in, in the game. But uh, if we only manage to see three of them, I suppose it's no bad thing. Uh, it's better than just staying on level one, which is, uh, you know, <laughs> where we might have ended up if I hadn't uh, picked up my uh, picked up my pace. All right. Now, let's just... Ooh, oh, dear. Too many barrels going on here. Oh, no! Well, at this rate, we're going to have to try one more time. Otherwise, it's uh, going to be a bit of a fruitless exercise. Okay. All right. Come on, let's... Let's try getting through this quickly. I'd have to say that the randomness of the barrels, both on this level and on level two, it kind of dictates how quickly you can get through the level. Uh, sometimes it's fairly generous, uh, and you only have a couple of barrels uh, falling down the ladders, and other times it's uh, sort of endless onslaught. All right, now, I haven't got any lives left, but at least we've made it onto the second level, so that's, that's some, some good news. All right. Let's see if we can get up here pretty quickly. Hopefully don't need... Oh, no. Oh. Well, that, that, that felt a little unjust. A custard pie and a fireball. What a way to go. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do in order to give the game a fair hearing is apply a little bit of creative editing. Um, and that way, hopefully, uh, we can get to the last level and uh, give the game um, a solid uh, review of, of all four levels so you can see exactly what happens uh, when, you, when you get to the fourth one. So uh, if you'll just wait a few moments, uh, I'll see you in a few seconds. There we go. We got our bonus life there and we're through to the fourth level. So the aim of the game on this one is a little bit different from the previous levels. So it's not simply about managing to uh, get to the top as quickly as possible. Uh, in fact, that is not the aim at all. Uh, what you have to do here is clear those yellow squares um, to essentially cause the uh, the gorilla at the top to uh, fall. Th oh dear, yes, to fall through the girders. Um, that's the uh, that's the aim. But uh, as you can see, it's fairly challenging, uh, not, a, not a straightforward one to, uh, to achieve. So we're going to have to take this one. Um, as well, I tend to do it in stages, basically. I try and clear as many of them as I can uh, and then, then see if I can get the other side, uh, because at least that separates me from a lot of the fire, fire demons. Um, Although I have stored them all up on one side now, so <laughs> this strategy may not prove to be uh, entirely successful. Um, especially, oh gosh, we've got quite a lot of them roaming around there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find a safe, <laughs> a safe way of getting uh, to the top. Uh, oh dear, uh, no, 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 no. They don't seem to want to come down either, which I was hoping they might do. Um, all right, I just have to see whether I can't remember if you can jump over the gaps or not. Oh yes, you can. Okay, good. All right, so that's, that's saved my bacon there. All right, so we've nearly, nearly done it. So we've just got to clear. Oh dear. Well, it would help if I didn't fall off the ladder, of course. Uh, right. Okay. Let's try that again. Keep fingers crossed that uh, we managed to do it uh, this time around. So maybe if we. Oh no! 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 no. Oh no, there's one down the bottom this time as well. Didn't have that last time. Right, all right, let's, let's stick with. Oh, no, 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 right, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, let's clear these, uh, clear these boys. There we go. All right, all right, nice. So that's got rid of them. Uh, oh, yes, okay, I've had enough mallet, mallet time. Yep, good, good, yep, there we go. So, let's clear that one. Grab a telephone while I'm at it. Oh dear, we've got more fire, more fire things spawning. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. Hmm, all right. Well, uh, let's see whether or not we uh, make a little bit more progress this time around. Um, there we go. Right, let's see if we can at least do this along and across. That would be good, wouldn't it? If we could just knock them out. Obviously not that last one, because that would involve running into the gorilla, which we want to avoid. But, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. So. Right. Oh, we're nearly there. Nearly there. So that one can't get me, because he's separated. But the one below is a bit more of a challenge. There we go. Splendid stuff. And he falls. Now you would think in a, in, a, in, a, in a fair game that we would have won at this point, but no, Donkey Kong is having none of it. 
sorry, Killer Gorilla, uh, he says give up, and lo and behold, he returns us right to the bottom again, except this time around, uh, the first level becomes a lot more challenging. Look at those barrels go! He throws them at you. It's not just uh, coming down the ladder this time, he... and there's plenty more of them as well. Oh, and we've got, a, we've got a gap as well, which wasn't there before. Oh my goodness me. Oh, and the barrels can roll over the gap, interestingly enough. Well, um, I didn't manage to make it uh, past the uh, sort of repeat of level one, but at least we had a chance to see the game in its full glory all the way through to the fourth level. Um, and we, we sort of defeated the Killer Gorilla, I suppose, but uh, not quite enough to uh, to, to reach the uh, Fair Maiden at the top. Well, I've managed to beat Ace in the uh, top ten scores as well, so that's not too bad. Uh, but I think we're going to leave it there. Um, I think we've given Killer Gorilla a, a good run through. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching that. Hope it's brought back some fond memories uh, for those of you that remember the game um, and if it is your first uh, time of seeing this one um, perhaps you know Donkey Kong but I've never seen Killer Gorilla before hopefully this has been uh, an eye-opener for you and you'll look it out and give it a go um, but until uh, the next time uh, take care and goodbye